Alrighty guys, how are you guys doing today? In this video, as you can see, I've got the new MacBook Pro 2011 15 inch MacBook Pro the current generation MacBook Air released in October 2010, the 13 inch model and I've got the big daddy here, the iMac again, 2010 version, mid 2010 2.8 GHz Core i5, all the specs of these machines should be appearing. Now the reason why I'm going to do a comparison test of these three machines is because they're all the latest and greatest current machines offered by Apple on their online and retail and of course other third party uh, retailers. So it should give you a good indication of what Apple's current product lineup is like when it comes to power. Now quickly going over the processors, this has a Core i5 2.8 GHz, whereas this has a Core i7 quad core 2.0 GHz and that one has a Core 2 Duo machine. But the first test here is going to be quite simple. I'm going to boot up the machines and let's see which one starts up first. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the MacBook Pro and the iMac on first initially and then a few seconds later I'm going to put the MacBook Air once my hands are freed up. So let's go ahead and put the iMac and the MacBook Pro on and then quickly put the MacBook Air on. And that was 0.4 seconds, shall we say. Uh, the MacBook Air screen came on first. Uh, the MacBook Air has a different storage type. It's got flash storage, which is more faster. Uh, whereas this one here has a 5400 RPM traditional hard drive. You can put SSD in later on if you want to, it's quite easy. Um, basically open up the back and you can put your own hard drive in, be it SSD or traditional, or a 7200 RPM. Bear in mind if you put a 7200 RPM it's going to chew your battery up a bit more faster. And surprisingly the iMac has loaded up faster despite it having a traditional 1TB hard drive, not flash or anything, not SSD. Um, and the MacBook Pro has come on second. And man, didn't expect this, the MacBook Air has come in third. I really did think the MacBook Air would come in a bit uh, quicker because of this SSD. Just for the record guys, both of these machines are the same, same applications, user settings. This is essentially a time machine backup of the MacBook Air. So there's no instance where, you know, this has less apps or anything. Both have the exact same files on it. So this came out number one, number two, and number three. Let's move on to test number two where I'll be exporting videos and see what the difference is in times. So this next test is very simple. I've got three movies loaded within iMovie and all three machines, the same video, the same size, etc. And I'm going to export them uh, and basically see which one exports them in the fastest way possible. And I'm going to press all three of these at the same time. So one, two, and three. Let's see, ladies and gents, which one is the winner? This is shown, the iMac is showing 20 minutes, 19 minutes, 18 minutes. This is going down to 15 minutes, so the iMac is winning. Uh, the, the MacBook Air is about an hour, uh, and that is no joke. 54 minutes, 52 minutes now. This is 18, 19 minutes. This one is 17 minutes. So this again, remember, is a Core i5 machine. It's got 12 GB of RAM. This one here is a Core i7, 2.0 GHz, 4 GB of RAM. And this one here is the MacBook Air Core 2 Duo and 4 GB of RAM. And this one is now shown as a more accurate time, 47 minutes. This one is showing 20 minutes. And this one is showing 19 minutes. So number one, number two, and number three by quite a mile. So guys, really, I hope this video helped. This video was just to give you an idea of how fast the machines are. Because this has the new Sandy Bridge processors and the quad core chips, it's kind of on par with the big daddy here, the iMac. So it's a very good machine, very powerful pro machine, uh, and no doubt, come the next generation MacBook Airs, we're going to have Sandy Bridge processors. Whether they're going to be quad core, uh, that is a different matter. Of course, the 13 inch MacBook Pros only have the, the dual cores, um, which are of course slightly slower than the quad cores, which the 15 inches have. But I uh, hope this video has helped. If you can leave a comment below, that'd be fine. If you've got videos yourself, you know, do feel free to post them below. What are your thoughts? Have you done any tests yourself? What was the performance like? I've done a gaming video on the MacBook Pro 2011. I played or tried out Assassin's Creed 2. If you haven't seen that video, to see what the results are, click here and you can go directly to that video. But other than that guys, remember to join me on iGlassWegion.com, twitter.com slash i6glassWegion. I've got a Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash iGlassWegion. If you can subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic. On YouTube, Facebook, that would be great. If not, not an issue, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers! We have a new sponsor here at iGlassWegion. Looking to send a package at the lowest price possible? 
Simple. Visit partialmonkey.co.uk, follow these four simple steps, have the package collected from your doorstep, and then sit back and relax.